Hey guys, this is Andre Nadra, and today I'll be showing you what's on my phone. Thanks for watching and helping me pass 20 subscribers. I promised I'd make one of these videos whenever I cross 20 subscribers. So, here we go. After unlocking the phone, you see my only home screen. Battery Registry want to show me how much battery life I have. It also tells me how much hours it has to remain, which is usually wrong by the way. But it does leave the benefit of me always being able to know how much battery life I have. In my dock, I have four apps. Tyler, Inbox, YouTube, and Google Camera. On the home screen itself, I have five folders. First of which is stores, where I keep the Play Store, Amazon App Store, and the Amazon Shop. The other folder is Messengers, where I keep WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and Google's Messenger, which sends text messages. In the next folder, I keep my most used apps, which are Clock and Calendar. Next is a folder called School, where I have three calculators, Wikipedia, and Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Webster is one of the only dictionary apps that allows you to use it offline. And on Wikipedia, you can also save pages to use offline. I have three calculators because all of them are used for different purposes. Google's calculator is used for simple multiplication and addition and subtraction only because it looks nice. Shake Calc allows me to change from rad to degrees and those of you who are doing complicated math questions will know. These are, this is used for sine, cos and tan. MATLAB calculator is the most robust out of all three, but it is used the least since I rarely get questions that I need to use this calculator for. The next folder is the games folder. The first game in the folder is Don't Touch the Spikes and it's a very fun casual game. There's a bird and you try not to touch the spikes and you also have to collect the candies. The game has challenges which allows you to unlock new birds. You can also buy birds with the currency you win in the game. This developer also made two other games that I have installed, Circles and Push the Square. Touchdown here is another fun casual game I have, as well as Bean Boy. Street of Zoom is an online multiplayer game. It's very fun and allows for great gameplay. Caveman Kick and Stickman Warrior are also two casual games. I also demoed them in one of my recent videos. The next game I have installed is Tetris, and this is quite different from the original version. Let's look at this quick gameplay and you can see what makes it different from the original version. Even with these changes, the games remain very fun, and it even is more suited for touch now. Scrabble is the last game in the folder. It's also the least played game I have. I have no home screens to the right, and to the left is my Google Now, where it just has some football scores and some tech news. The first page of apps, there is no interest in apps, but if you see any, like, leave a comment below and I'll tell you what they do. On the second page is an app called Easy Voice Recorder, and this is where I record the audio for my YouTube videos. Google Fit is also interesting app. Since I never really demoed it, I'll show you it now. It has lots of material design, which looks great. In this app, you can see how long you've walked for and how many steps you take. You can also look back at previous days as you scroll lower down. Material walls and material walls too is where I get most of my wallpapers. Check them out if you're looking for some cool wallpapers. And Office Suite is great for reading PDFs. Pictures is when your favorite gallery app it opens into the album you were last in and when you swipe to the left, you can see all the albums you have. And instead of the normal layout, you can have a calendar layout where you see which days you took which pictures. This app has a very clean and easy to use interface. Scenes allow you to look at and take beautiful kind of 3D pictures. It also has support for Google Cardboard. The feature is a little hard to demo however. Really interesting apps on the last page are Virtual Light and Wally. Virtual Light is great because it allows you to save YouTube videos offline and watch them later. Wally recently changed its icon. I think it looks better this way. I have two cases which I usually use on my phone. The first is from Mercury, which is just a plastic rubber case, which works great. It has cutouts all the buttons and it does add a lot of thickness to the phone. But the cutouts are decent size, so I can't complain. And the other case I have is from Rinker Fusion. A nice transparent back which allows me to show off the back of the Nexus 4. And about the same amount of thickness. The size of this phone feel nice however because it's soft touch. They are cut out to the headphone jack and charger but none for the buttons. They are a good height off from the case of the phone so it does make it very easy to click. This is a case I usually use from day to day. So that's it. Thanks for watching and subscribe to see more. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And leave a comment about any other app I should try.